Hi, we're live for an on-campus tour of our student accommodation. Let's go take a look and meet the Westlife officers. Hi, um, <laughs> I'm Natalie from Reslife and this is Charlie from Reslife. Um, we're Reslife officers, so come on in. We're going to do a live accommodation tour. Sorry for a little bit late. Um, so this is our Royal Dalton building. So this is one of our Leak Road Hall options. Um, so we're going to show you around this flat just so you can get a good idea of um, Leak Road Halls. So we'll take you down through the flat into one of our bedrooms. Charlie, over to you. How are you doing, sir? This is a standard example of the bedrooms we have here in Royal Dalton. Uh, they all come with obviously the bed, uh, wardrobe cover space over there, desk with a chair, shelving space, pin board, uh, and sink. Uh, so yeah, this is like the standard. So this will be in Royal Dalton and in Wedgwood, I believe. Uh, I might be incorrect. And then there's two other boxes which are very similar, but the beds are slightly different and the desks are slightly different. But this is the basis of what you'd expect in a, in a bedroom. So all good now. We'll head over to the kitchen, uh, and Natalie will tell you the features in the kitchen. Okay. okay. Just to let you know, what you will need to bring with you for your bedroom is your own bedding, so a bed sheet and your own quilt cover, um, quilt and your pillow, just so you've got that your own home to home comfort. So we'll walk through the flat if you want to follow me. So we'll start in the kitchen, <laughs> which is through this door here. So this is um, one of our flat kitchens here in Royal Dalton, and you will find that across um, Leak Road Halls, the kitchens resemble this exact kitchen layout so um we have got over here we've got a kitchen you will get a cupboard each as well and you can have a key for the cupboard so for your own food bits and bobs in the kitchen you can lock them in there you also get a hot water tank which is one of my favorite features yeah. because you don't need to bring a kettle because you've got instant hot water which is amazing you've also got an electric hob um, an electric oven with an extractor fan. So if you're bringing pots and pans, um, make sure you bring them suitable for an electric hob. That is a question that we get asked quite often. Um, you also get a microwave, um, some more cupboard space down here. You've got a nice breakfast bar with some cool um, stools for the breakfast bar. And then around this side, you've got the same again. Um, so you've got your hob, your sink, your cupboards, and you've also got a dining table and chairs as well. If we turn around this way, um, you've got um, your fridge and freezers, so you can all share the fridge freezers, which is great. And you also get a shared living area, which you get um, two sofas, a coffee table, and also a television. Now the TV license is included um, within the cost of the accommodation in halls and in houses. The only time you would need to pay a TV license is if you have your own TV behind your bedroom door, behind a closed door. Uh, we will put a link on for the TV license if you wish to do that. So this is the kitchen. One other feature of the kitchen that we love is our plug sockets have USB ports so you can whack your USB leads into there and charge your phones so you don't necessarily need your plug and things like that. So yeah, that's the kitchen. So we'll take you over into the bathroom now in the flat. So can I just ask room? quickly, yeah. how many people would share this space? Okay, so you're looking between 10 and 12 people in each flat. Um, in this flat, I think there are 12 residents. Um, some of the flats do hold 14 as well, um, but the, on average you're looking at around 12 residents per flat. Okay, and these have been quite newly redone, yeah, haven't so they? Yes, these were refurbed last year, um, and as I say, throughout the halls, the kitchens will look very similar to this, um, it might just be a slightly different layout within the kitchens. They also have uh, Bluetooth speakers in the ceiling, so you can connect your phone or you know, iPod device to speak to them. Oh, that's good. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so follow us to the bathroom. So this is the, uh, the bathroom. There's a shower room with a lockable door there, uh, just a separate room there. And there's two shower cubicles here. And then behind yourself, there is three toilet cubicles. And again, that's what we uh, have for the 12 residents in this flat. So this is sort of a good idea of what replicates across the halls, really. 
just to mention one question that we do get asked a lot is is the queuing for the showers and the toilets no we don't experience that um, we allocate our flats um, we, we wouldn't put everybody from the same course in the same flat just so it allows people will be leaving at different times to go to lectures and things like that so you won't have to queue for showers so um, as Charlie said you've got three showers three toilets which is fine for our residents so we're going to walk over now to our Leaf Road houses um, and we're going to do a tour of one of our houses there. So if you want to follow us. So what are the main differences between um, houses and choosing more of an accommodation like this? Like what, would you, what would you say like if people are unsure whether to go for a house or well, this kind of accommodation? Really, in essence, they're actually quite similar. The facilities are very similar. Um, you know, it's... Up design is very similar. The, the, the main difference being really is the layout. So instead of it being in a, in a corridor with the rooms and the kitchen and the bathroom being spread out across the corridor, it's just condensed smaller for less people in a house setup. Okay. So you'll see shortly the kitchen's downstairs with uh, two bedrooms and there's the bathroom facilities upstairs with the two rooms. Okay. So you'll see it you'll see this now. So we'll, we'll go that way. Yeah. Thirty. Um, so also the houses are more of a, a, a more of a homely feel, I guess, because there are less people, and it is a traditional house layout where your kitchen is downstairs, um, and the bathroom is upstairs as well. So it's more of a home to home. Um, at Best Life, we try and build a community feel, and we hope we've done that by refurbing our houses and also our halls. Um, we are just finishing the last couple of houses on our houses refurbishment, but they will be ready for September. So all of our houses will be. Um, consistent with the house that we're going to show you now um, and they, they will reflect what all of the houses are like. So, okay. and how far are we from the university building over here? So, um, we are, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the science centre just up there um, and then we are literally across the road from the train station which um, covers College Road as well um, and about a two minute walk you've got the Leak Road venue, the union shop, um, and also you've got um, like eating places as well on campus so we've got those all in an easy walk so everything's within about a five minute walk from here um, and across the residences so we've got houses here we've got halls dotted around um, and we also do have Clary's Cliff Court which is a couple of minutes walk from here um, we just you have, just have to go over a bridge unfortunately we're not able to show you that today as we're having some essential maintenance work done on that so we've had to actually shut the site down over the summer but we will do that at another date where we can show Clarice Cliff Court, which is our ensuite accommodation. We had a question through about international students. Are they um, all put together or are international students mixed in with um, students in the UK? We try and integrate everyone to promote equality and diversity. Um, so throughout the university, we like to get that community feel. If they would prefer to stay with their friends, um, then they can request that. We can't always guarantee it, but that can be requested by adding into the notes section. If they wanted to stay in the same flat or same house as their friends, they'd need to put their friend's name and student ID. So we can request that, we just can't always guarantee it. Okay, thank you. So welcome to the house. This is an example of Leak Road House. If you'd like to follow me inside. This is a Leak Road House kitchen. So as you can see, the feel is very similar. Um, but it's just a bit more condensed. So the fridge area is there, got the hob, the electric fan, um, the Bluetooth speaks in the ceiling by the television, uh, sink, instant hot water, and then the, the kitchen doors there you can use to get outside if you wish to. And the fridge just on the right. We've also got a smaller living area here, so you have a coffee table and a setting as well, so it's nice open plan living, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So we'll show you now. A bedroom. It's okay to just quickly ask you, we've had another question in, um, about having friends to stay overnight, like they're just asking what the situation is if they want friends yeah. to come and stay with them. So guests are allowed, you just have to be considerate of your housemates or flatmates and making sure that um, they're not staying long term. So one or two nights is absolutely fine and just consult your house or flatmates about that. Um, also parking permits for guests can be retrieved from Colport, which is our res hub um, area. Um, we are going to do a separate video for the Res Hub, so um, stay tuned later on this week. That is going to be put on to um, Facebook as well. Okay, fine. Thanks. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the joys of being live. <laughs> <laughs>
key here. There we go, sorry about that. Um, let me show you this bedroom actually, one second. If you want to... Just to make you aware that the houses um, do accommodate between four to six residents. So sometimes we've got two residents downstairs um, and then four upstairs. So we'll show you upstairs just to have a look. Um, we do have one house on campus that um, has been knocked, there's two houses knocked into one. So we do have one extra large house um, that is on, like, on our campus. So we do have that. So for all the other houses, the majority of the houses are of this size. So this is a blueprint for the other houses. The only difference that you'll notice in the houses is perhaps the worktops may be a different colour. But other than that, you're looking at this is the, the exact example of each of the houses. So they're all referred to the same standard. So do they have locked cupboards um, in here? Or? Um, we can get a locked cupboard facility, yes, in here. Okay. Um, so you can each get a cupboard and you'll have the shared space and we can get the facility if you wish to have a lock on the cupboards in here, then we can do that for you, yes. Okay. So sorry about that. If you want to follow me, we'll show you a bedroom. It's up the stairs. Um, we've had somebody ask whether they can see the house that's been knocked into two. Um, like, is it different to this um, house or is it similar? Unfortunately, it's not something we can show today. Um, you probably could arrange for a video to be done in the future. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but in essence, it's basically two houses connected together. One side is like the living space with the bedrooms and the other side is a kitchen with the bedrooms. So. Okay. So this is a house's bedroom. Again, very similar to halls actually really. Bed, wardrobe, desk. You may just find that the size may vary in length or width. So yeah. And how many rooms are there in each house? Uh, six. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll head back downstairs now. <laughs> but we'll show you the, uh, Natalie, I'll show you the bathroom. So the good thing about houses is that you get a separate toilet area. So you have a separate toilet there, and you also get um, a bathroom with a toilet as well. So our bathroom consists of a shower and a toilet as well. So you, there's two toilets within houses. Nice and cozy. <laughs> so yeah, you get an electric shower. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's just the one bathroom and then um, the extra toilet as well? Yes, that's okay. right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go head back downstairs. So I think... So we'll show you now um, just outside. Um, our houses, there is um, a bit of an area, like a social area, um, with a pergola, so if you want to follow me and then we'll end the tour there. This just allows you to see the houses set up as well, um, and you can see how close we are to the Union Shop, it's straight ahead, you've also got the Lupo venue there. We're okay to head back if you want past the Union Shop and LRV to okay. Coalport, yeah, just so you can yeah. show them where you're based and yeah, then sure, we can move it there. Yeah. Okay. Just to the right you've got the social area, um, so you've got a pergola and that's got features underneath as well, so it is a nice place, perhaps on a day like this, <laughs> that you can sit <laughs> under and chill out under there. Yeah, and if, as you can see, uh, all the houses are in like, like almost like a cul-de-sac, it's like it's all in one big triangle, uh, ranging from down the bottom there starts from house two and three, the joint house, and it follows all the way up and round, so all the houses residents are in one area. Um, and then dotted around, so over that way, on that way is all the other halls and roads that you can touch. And then straight down here, you have the Union Shop, the LRV, and the Verve. So we'll walk back there now, and then we'll go down to Coalport, and we can show you where we are and what we're about. So. So you're very close to all of the nightlife on the campus as well. So if you go out in LRV and stuff, yes. you're really close to your house if yeah. you Absolutely. go home it's after. there. <laughs> so you can see from, it is literally a two, three minute walk. Um, to the right, we've got Royal Dalton, which is where we were earlier with the halls tour. So that's Royal Dalton, one of our Lupo halls. Behind Royal Dalton, you've got Ainsley building. And then beyond us in the distance, you can see Spode. Next to Spode is Wedgwood, which is the larger building to the left. 
and then behind there is Cold Fork. If you just look to the left now, you've got the Verve, which Charlie mentioned, so that serves like um, food and drinks and you can go there and that's easy access for that. And behind there is the Sir Stanley Matthews Sports Centre. Um, so we hold events there and there are lots of things to do there and there's also a gym there that students can join. Um, it's a really good gym, um, the staff there are great. Um, yeah, so yeah. Recently we've got a lot of money invested into the gym, so all the facilities are actually quite relatively new. Um, I believe the deal at the start of the year, I'm not sure what it is, it's in my head. It changes every year, but their membership is really reasonable. I think it's only like fifteen pounds a month, anyway, isn't it? Yeah, Normally, it's around that. Thing, yeah. yeah. Um, somebody's asked about Ainsley Halls. Yeah. Are they similar to what we've seen um, in the other? Halls? Yeah. So um, Ainsley and Royal Dalton are very similar. Um, the only difference might be the actual bedroom furniture, but kitchen-wise and bathroom areas will be exactly the same. And in terms okay. of bedroom furniture, they, they still get the same thing, but yes. as now so they, they'd just be a little bit different. So. Okay. The layouts are the same. You know what they get is the same. Just to mention as well, we do have a bike shed for bicycles. So if students did want to bring bicycles, we have a code that they can access their own bicycles and they can be stored in the bike shed that is just here. There is also two or more bike sheds down at Clarice Cliff Court. Um, so residents of Clarice Cliff Court can have bikes there too. We also have Amazon lockers. Um, so we've got one here, so students can order their parcels to the lockers and then they can get them any time of day. Um, down in Colport, which is our residences offices, so our res hub, um, where res life is based, where we're based. Um, we also have a post room there, so post for Leak Road Halls um, will get sent to here and then the student would come to collect their post with their student ID and then they can take it. Okay. So this is the Colport building with a big sign on the side, residences office and student healthcare centre. Come with us, we'll show you. Uh, in the Colport building, we have the student healthcare, we have a chaplain seat, and then we have also the res hub. Um, so can you go? So this is the main entrance that you would use to access us. Um, our opening hours will be on the door, so everyone will know. Um, we'll also be issuing a welcome pack, so you all are aware of when we're open and what we're all about. So welcome to Res Life. Oh. Okay, so just through here, you'd normally find the Student Healthcare Centre. They are closed at the minute, but um, what you do is you register when you come with us and then you can phone from 8 o'clock in the morning throughout the week to make an appointment if you need to see them. So through here is the, the Res Life reception. We have Cara and Judith here with us at the minute. Uh, this is where you come if you have any issues with post, any issues with your flat, or anything you just feel, like, feel the need to talk about, you can come straight to us and discuss that and we'll do what we can to help you as soon as possible. So, yeah. so we're here basically to make your life easier and to make sure that your experience here at Stafford University is a healthy one, a happy one um, and we just like to build a community based around our residences and we encourage residents to come and sit and chill with us here, have a chat. We've also got an outside area that I'll just show you quickly. Yep. So at the back we have got this area, like I say, we do encourage students and also staff to come down here, um, have the lunch, come and sit with us, have a chat, whatever they need. So if you just need to get away <laughs> from the flat, then you're welcome to come down here and we do encourage that. So we've got this pergola here with heaters, we've got um, a seating area, we have fire, fire pits as well. And then behind us across here, we've got the river Trent running across the back. And this is actually a nature reserve, so it's really pretty. Unfortunately, on a day like today, it doesn't really do it justice because <laughs> it is beautiful. Um, we also have a pizza oven area across there as well, um, and students are able to use that. They just need to pop into Colport, ask us if it's free, and then they just leave their student IDs with us. Do you organise any like, events or activities? We do. Well? So um, at Res Life, as, as I said, we make, we're here to make sure that the residents have a happy and healthy time whilst they're at university. So we organise drop-in sessions, we organise little events and big events as well that are throughout the year. You will be informed of the events um, via a welcome pack and also you'll get um, added into some Facebook groups for your halls or the houses. Um, so we'll constantly be updating you with what's going on so that everyone's aware of what's going on, what times and things like that and if anyone has any ideas then we're open to suggestions as well so come chat to us give us ideas whatever you think we could do then we're always open to ideas
So if anybody wants to find out some more information about accommodation after seeing this, if they're thinking about maybe moving into accommodation, um, where, what would they do now? What's the best thing for them to do? So obviously on the website um, you can get more information about residences and res life as well, a little bit more information about us. Um, to apply for accommodation you need to visit the res life portal. We'll add the link onto this if that's okay um, and we'll add that on later. Um, so to apply you need to register and then apply via the res life portal. If anyone has any questions, you can like our Facebook page and you can chat to us on there or you can give us a call. Um, our telephone number is 01782 294 or you can email us um, which is reslife at staffs.ac.uk. So if any queries, please let us know, ask us any questions. Um, we'll just take you now through to the chaplaincy and um, see if Mick the Vic's in. Hello. Mick, I'll hand over to you. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, it's a mess, but I'm in the middle of uh, doing something. This is the um, chaplaincy room, or one of them. So across the university, we've got different prayer rooms and quiet spaces um, all across the university where you can chill, say your prayers. Uh, usually, when you come in here, you can have a cup of tea and a Jaffa cake, and you can cry in your beer, and you can kind of, uh, you know, there's always a sympathetic air. Or you can join me on a songwriting. Uh, mission like we are at the moment writing some daft songs for Freshers Week to share with the students. <laughs> Always welcome. So this is the chaplaincy. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very very much. Enjoy Thank your journey. You. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. So I think that's all we're yeah. yeah. That is the end of our talk. <laughs> so any questions or queries please let us know via our Facebook, um, our other social media pages or you can call or email us. So thanks for joining us today. Great. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Bye.